10,000 years and then forevermore. Yeah, bless the Lord. Woo, bless the Lord. Oh, yes, perfect space. It's going to be a good day. Come on. Oh, that doesn't sound too good. Right. Oh, it's good to be here. Hey, I've come to visit Living Rock Church. Now, obviously, there's a global pandemic on, so we've got to be sensible about this, but at the same time, we're going to have a great time, of course. When I get to the front doors, I need to put on my mask, which also doubles up as a handy bracelet. However, for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to wear it, just for now. When I get to here, I'm going to make sure that I've not had a high temperature recently, that I don't have a new and persistent cough, and of course, I need to check that all my faculties are in place, smell and taste being the two key ones. If I've not also been in contact with anyone that's recently received a positive COVID-19 test result, then I'm good to go in, nice and simple, eh? So, once I get to this point, I'll be greeted by a wonderful person who's gonna squirt some Sano on my hands, give me a mask if I don't have one, and then I'm gonna scan the QR code to check in with the NHS track and trace app. So let's head in. Look at all these wonderful signs telling me how good it is to have me back again. I feel it, I really do. So in we come. Now I've come to have a meeting in the main hall. So I come through all of these nice open doors. And when I get to this point here, there's a handy map of all of the seats to tell me the letters and numbers that correspond. And I know that today I'm sitting in seat D1. So somebody that's here will tell me how to do that. And quite simply, I follow the arrows and I sit down. All of the information is on there. So I'm gonna come in here, follow the one-way system. The letters are on the floor there next to the chairs. Here's row D, what a wonderful row to be on. I come down here, again, following the arrows. And here I find myself at seat number one. So obviously I sit down, I have a great time. I enjoy some worshipful moments with the Lord. I might shed a tear or two, that's okay. But oh no, I need the loo. Well, not to worry. Everything is good for me to go to the loo. I simply follow the one-way system once more, taking note of the enormous posters with COVID secure information on them. Wow. I carry on following my one-way system like a good boy and it's basically going to lead me all the way to my destination, the toilet. Come with me. Now, when I get to this point, just in case I haven't realised it, there's loads more information about COVID-19. So I can just reassure myself that I know exactly what's going on. I get to this point, but oh no, I've reached an obstacle. I need to put my hand on a surface. Don't worry, there's some hand sanitizer right here. Give myself a little squirt. Rub it right in and we're good to go. Now fortunately for me, there's loads of arrows all over the floor, so I can't get lost. Back in the old days, I would have probably gone through this door here, but it says no entry, so I'm not going to. I simply follow the arrows, make my way into the cafe, and then I see right here, that this is the way to the toilet. Here I am in the safety of the toilet corridor. Now, right down here is the way to the gents, the ladies, and just here is the disabled loose. There's the ladies, and here's the gents. Now, if this was real life, at this point, I would go in and use the loo, one at a time. But it's not real life, this is a video. So for the purposes of that, I'm not gonna go to the loo right now, but I would if it was real life. I'm not going to though. I'm gonna come here and see that this arrow, when I've finished, is pointing me this way. Let's go. I should mention at this point that if this was real life, I would have washed my hands for a good 20 seconds and sang happy birthday through a few times, but it's not, so I didn't. I follow the arrows once more, and here I am again in the cafe. Now, when we get to this point, there's some nice clear arrows that lead us back to the main hall. Come with me. It's so good to be here. Now, if I were to leave at this point, 
I would be sat in my seat, D1, remember? When it's my turn, somebody will kindly tell me that it's time for row D1 to leave, and I will do so through the fire exit at the back door, just all the way over there. But let me give you a hypothetical. I've hypothetically got three children. One is aged 10, one is aged eight, and one is aged six. Can you imagine if they were here with me now? What would they do? Well, let's hand over to Lisa and she will give you all of that information. Hot Rockers, we're really looking forward to seeing you again next week. So we're gonna show you today just a few things that you need to know when you come. A lot of them you'll be familiar with when you're at school. So I want to show you a couple of bits here. You'll come in through the doors with your parents. Parents, you will need to wear a mask. Children, you don't need to. You will get your sanitizer and put that on your hands so that we're all fresh and clean, ready to start. We'd like you to bring your own pencil case because we want, don't want you sharing your writing things with other people. So you're gonna grab your pencil case and then we're gonna take it to a table. We're gonna walk over to our table, but we're gonna first find out which one we need to sit at. So we're going to ask somebody here who will tell us which table. They might say one, two, three, four, five, or six. And all the numbers are on the tables ready for you. So come with me, I'll show you one where we might like to sit. Let's say we were sitting at table number one. We would come here and we would sit with our mums and our dads at the table. We're gonna sit up here nice and carefully, put our pencil case down and we're ready to start. And somebody will talk to you at the front and tell you everything you need to know. I know sometimes you really need a toilet, don't you? So we're gonna show you where you need to go if you get desperate. Come with me. We're gonna go for a little walk this way. And just like you do on a Sunday, you're going to go through this doorway here but on the door you'll see there's another hand sanitizer which you give a little squirt and then you can help yourself and go through the toilets with your mums and dads and come back through at the end and then back to your seat and carry on. We're really looking forward to seeing you. We can't wait to catch up and see all your happy faces again. We'll see you soon. Oh, hey youth, how are you? Listen, get off TikTok, get off Snapchat, have a listen to me, because I'm going to tell you all about your return to the church building for your own very special meetings coming up in October. So first things first, listen, hello again, but also stop. Don't come in if you've got COVID, but do come in if you haven't got COVID, but you've got a mask and you're able to sanitise your hands and you can smell everything and taste everything. So this is the first thing you need to know. Now follow me. Second thing you need to know, hand sanitizer. We're gonna have a squirt of this, like that. Rub it in, rub a dub dub. Can you hear that? Right, follow me. This is where you're going. Follow me down here. Now, younger youth, younger youth, this is your room. This is where you're going to be. And uh, older youth, you guys are going to be through that way. Both of the rooms are set up basically the same. We've got chairs out for you with loads of space, so you're not going to be near each other or touch each other or anything like that. And uh, when you arrive, you're going to be put into a group by your youth leader, I think. So come up here, you'll be put in your group and you have a great time hanging out, taking selfies from a distance and all those sorts of things that the youth do, but also probably praising and loving Jesus without singing. Um, so you're going to be in here. Now you're going to have a fantastic time. If you're sat here and you're like, oh, I need the toilet, then follow me. I'll show you where to go. Here, we've got the door to the toilets. Another sanitizer on the way out. Let's make sure we've got clean hands, pure hearts. Good grace, good God. Thank you, Joel Houston. Follow me. I'm gonna come up this way. Now, if you need the toilet, the toilets are this way, ladies and gents. But uh, if it's the end of the meeting, we're gonna go this way and we're gonna exit the building. Guys, when it's time for you to leave, you want to come down these stairs, out this way, and we're going to turn right and we're going to go back around to the front of the building.
So here we are, back at the front. This is where you came in. This is where you will be at the end of your meeting as well. Uh, if your parents are already here um, taking part in the adult meeting, they'll come and collect you. Maybe your parents are gonna come and pick you up in their car. So if you see them, go and find them. Uh, basically, we'll see you later. Have a great evening. And uh, we look forward to having you back at the building. <laughs>